Who knows all the countries in the world or even knows the basics about them? In this video, I want to give you a brief overview of the most important data on the political system of one of them. And that one today is Switzerland. The official name of the country is the Swiss Confederation or the Confederatio Helvetica. The form of government is a democratic and republican state. The head of state, the federal constitution of the Swiss Confederation, has neither a head of state nor a head of government. The federal council acts as a collegial body, the chairmanship of which changes annually. Guy Parmelin from the Swiss People's Party has been federal president since January 1st, 2021. So that's why the head of government is not applicable. As I said, the federal council is responsible there too, and the federal president chairs its meetings. The foreign minister is federal councillor Ignacio Cassis since November 1st in 2017, and on the Human Development Index, they rank second place. The Swiss system of government is considered to be one of the most stable in the world. It's based on consensus-oriented elements of direct democracy and federal cooperation between the confederation, cantons, and municipalities. The Swiss government, the federal council, consists of seven uh, federal councillors from all established parliamentary parties. They had the ministries, the departments, and determined federal policy as a collective body. Parliament elects a federal president from among its members annually, who represents the federation externally. The parliament consists of two chambers, the National Council and the Council of States. The National Council with 200 members is elected by the people every four years in general, equal and direct elections, according to proportional representation. The Council of States has 46 members, two per canton, one per half canton, who are elected by majority voting in most cantons. Laws must be adopted by both chambers. In many cases, they are subject to a subsequent referendum. Switzerland is a member of numerous international and multilateral organizations and institutions, including the UN, the Council of Europe, the OSCE, the OECD, and the EFTA. Switzerland's accession to the European Economic Area failed in a referendum in 1992. Switzerland has had numerous bilateral agreements with the EU since 1999 and uh, has sectoral access to the EU internal market. The question of consolidating the bilateral path through an institutional framework agreement with Switzerland has been negotiated since 2014 and is on hold for the moment because they couldn't find a compromise. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.